Well, attracted me to football at a young age. Um, I didn't really play football at a young age. I, my first sport was baseball. I was a really, in my mind, I thought I was going to be a major league baseball player for the longest. I didn't get attracted to football until around the seventh grade. Seventh grade, I played one year. I finally talked my mom into it. She said, like, you're going to get hurt if you play. But I was like, let me play, let me play. And when I finally played, I broke my arm. <laughs> my junior year in high school, we went undefeated. Like, it was like one of the best films ever because uh, we, I think that was the first or second championship in high school in about 50 years, maybe, because the school's been on for a long time. That's when we can't, my, I felt like we had something special because the year before we went undefeated, but we lost in the first round against a really good team. And uh, we were just hungry that year. We were coming in doing extra work. Even after the stuff we were supposed to do with the team, like players stayed after doing, running over plays, uh, doing little drills on our own, stuff like that. We just really, really felt like last year was just disappointing. Going that undefeated, then going against a really good team, but we went lost to them 10 to 6. But um, just it just left a bad taste in your mouth that all year people are hearing, oh, you went undefeated, but you lost the first round. Can you get past the first round this year? After the first round, can you go on and keep winning? And once we got past the first round, like we blew the team out pretty good. It's like, we can really win this thing. And we got more and more confidence as the, as the time went on. And when we got to the state championship game, it just felt like another game. Ended up really blowing the team out in the first, in like the first quarter. We put up 20 points really fast. I got um, team captain two years in a row, junior and senior year. Senior year, I had, I had more experience, but my junior year, like, I wouldn't say, I want to say that it was really hard. Even though we won, I had help with like, a lot of seniors in my junior year. Was that I was just like, out of everybody on the team, they decided to pick me. I was already captain of the D-line. So I was like, what, a handful of people. I wasn't really, really, you know, <laughs> like having a problem leaving them. But leading the whole team, like, because, you know, if something goes wrong, first thing that coach is going to do is come ask you what's going on out on the field. And if something, goes, and they're going to be like, you need to do this, you need to fix it, you need to pick it up, and you got to pick your teammates up. That's hard when you, when you got to pick them up, but you got to keep yourself motivated. And, like, you can't, you can't show weakness. And, like, at a hard times, like, when you're down in the game, the team captain has to be the one composed the whole time. And it's hard. So, especially when, when you're having a bad game, you're getting, you're getting penalties called on you that you know is not really, you know that in your mind you're thinking, I'm not really committing these penalties, or they're committing penalties against you and they're not calling them. You got to stay composed, and it's really hard. What's the difference between playing defensive line and offensive line? And how much was the learning curve? Well, defensive line, most of the time you just have to get lined up right, correctly. Lined up, and if you can beat the man in front of you and make the play, that's pretty much it. But offense, you have to know where you're going. You have to know what your other offensive linemen are doing. You have to be in sync, get that team. Thing. You have to be like as one. Like I know it's cliche to say five is one. It really is. It really does have to be five is one. And as far as the uh, learning curve, the learning curve is a lot harder. That you got your stances have to be right offensively. If the footstep is too big, you're going to be beat. If it's too small, you're not going to get there in time. Just, just so much stuff going on at once that you have to be at the right spot at the right time. You just can't, you can't miss up, you can't misread. You have to be there, you have to know what you're doing. Because if not, you're going to hold yourself back. I know the most proudest moment for me as a kid, as a one, as a being a, their child, is watching them, watching them being like the happiest when I signed to Georgia Tech. Like, they didn't stop smiling that whole day, and it's just, just, just the greatest feeling in the world. To be like, you've accomplished something, and your parents have seen you through it, and they've helped you through everything. Because a lot of people can't say that they had both their parents with them the whole time, helping them through, through anything from like, you know, school to girls or whatever, just helping you. And, um, and I'll never forget that day. It's like, it's, it's just the most, it's just the most uh, amazing feeling, yeah.